beautiful morning here in Mustique. So I've managed to uh, borrow a bike from somebody. Uh, so I'm going to do a bit of cycling. This is the runway at Mustique Airport. What the owners do, um, the owners of houses here, is that those with uh, their own private jets, they uh, come into Kanawan mainly with their private jets, sometimes into St. Vincent, and then they catch a smaller plane uh, here to uh, Mustique. The Cotton House here in Mustique. Once upon a time, my grandmother used to work in this island. The Cotton House here in Mustique. It's uh, a swimming pool. As you can see, very beautiful. Sun's come out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I have to keep saying it. I mean, St. Vincent the Grenadines is a tremendously beautiful place. It is completely uh, different, the tourism here, to that that you'll find elsewhere in the Caribbean. It's hyper, hyper exclusive in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So I've just been granted a tour of, of this gym. It's very nice inside, crikey. It only opened on Monday. So um, uh, it's very beautiful inside. Great facilities, um, decor, no camera policy, so um, no video to show you from the inside, but from the outside you can see it's uh, vast and it's a beautiful inside. Typically um, Mustiquian inside. This is the entrance to Tommy Hilfiger's house here in Mustique. This is Lansikoy Beach here in Mustique home of Mick Jagger and also of Brian Adams. It's very beautiful, great views across to see Pity Levis there, Beckway, So this is the grave of somebody that I remember. I used to go to his shop, Cardinal Simon, Cadman, as we used to call him. Uh, very entertaining guy to speak to about the old days and about life here in Mustique. Uh, very clear of thought. This is the um, uh, terminal here at Mustique Airport. You across the football field and behind that the equestrian centre and then you have some of the I've been told 123 houses that are now mustique. Now isn't that a tree trunk? Wow! I don't know why but it just reminds me of a sailfish head. For sailfish. <laughs> so is the entrance to a church in Mustique. I'm not quite sure which one it is. It's very beautiful. Open sides. Outside of this church you have a memorial and at the top you have Colin Tennant and uh, Arnie Hasselbisk who designed a number of the houses here and uh, Hardin Lawrence and I remember Hardin Lawrence I remember meeting Hardin Lawrence on Macaroni Beach um, one year and he was having a picnic with uh, some of his guests and uh, he saw me there and he came over to me and invited me to join 
his, his party and um, I, I was served by his butler on Macaroni Beach, uh, a very nice guy, Hardin Lawrence, the owner of Braniff Airways and uh, the former owner of the, the very um, the orange house on the top of the hill that can be seen for miles around here in Mustique. He was the, he built it. Um, going that way, we have uh, Princess Margaret, who is also honoured here. And we also have uh, Lord Litchfield uh, over there. Um, so, there you are. Famous people who have been associated with Mustique and they come from all over the world. Is the entrance to the Great House, originally owned by, built and owned by Colin Tennant. And now, then it went through the hands of, I think, Christina Lathis's husband. Um, and it's now owned by Lawrence Stroll, who, uh, of course, is the CEO of Aston Martin.